everyone i'm here just to do a quick tutorial on how i made this tiki bar this tiki bar was part of my um 3d collaboration for august part two and the theme was beach life so i created this tiki bar for that so i thought i'd just come on and share with you my measurements and how i put it together okay so um what i've done is to cut down time is i've cut and scored everything um so uh, but i will go through the measurements with you and i'll also leave all the measurements in the description box below as well and um, the card that i'm using is craft card i buy the recycled one from hobbycraft um i like it because it's got a good weight to it and it's also very flexible so it really does bend on those score lines uh, without crackling or anything like that um buy the recycled one i don't know if it makes any sort of difference but that's the one i buy anyway so um uh, let's get into it so this piece is the um bar and this bar piece and um, measures 10 inches by four and three fourths so on your 10 inch side you want to score it at three inches you want to score it at four and three fourths. And you also want to score at seven and three fourths. And then at the end, just score it at nine and a half. Like so. And then you just want to fold up on those score lines. You can use a bone folder to do that. As I said, this card is so easy to fold, but it's still got that weight to it. Now, I've gone also gone ahead and um, pre-cut and got my tape on my um, pieces. So um, for the bar, you're going to just mat the back which I've done here, the back piece and the top of the bar. So the mat for the back of the bar would measures four and a half by seven and two eighths. And the top of the bar measures um, four and a half by one and five eighths. So this is going to be our tab piece, which I'm actually going to cut some tabs on just to help with connecting. And that's going to fold around and stick like that. So basically what we're creating is a giant matchbox, really. And what I like to do is keep my tabs on the bottom. So when it's on the project, it's that way around. Just that if it's like this way around at the top, you know, it can still get caught and over time, you know, start to peel away. Whereas if it's at the bottom and flush to the project, it's less likely to happen. So with that in mind, we want to make sure that we mask this side. And then obviously the top's here. So if we unravel it, we are matting the first section away from the tab. Like I say, I've just quickly put some double-sided tape on the back so that I can not waste your time. There we go. And then there is the top. I actually got this uh, paper pad from a hobby craft as well. It's, it didn't have a name, but it was. I loved it. It's got lots of tropical palm trees and things very pretty okay so now i want to just glue this edge and i'm just going to use some hot glue because so we just i wanna do this quickly and 
there we have it. So that is what the bar looks like on its own. So now um, we need to go to this piece and this piece is to make the, um, the bar draw. Okay, so what you're going to need is a piece that measures eight and two eighths by seven and a half. And then on the eight and two eight side, you are going to score at one and three fourths, spin it round back onto the eight and two eights and score it again at one and three fourths. Then on the seven and a half side, you're going to score at seven and two eighths and four and five eighths. Like so. So you'll end up with this pattern here. And this bit here is going to be the bottom of our box. So as the drawer pulls out, it's going to be that bit here and they're the sides. Okay, so as you can see, I have actually put a mat on the front of my drawer, but I've left the back plain. I just didn't want to keep adding thickness because, you know, it's it's the right fit for for the, uh, the bar to slide into. So once again, I have saved time. And I'm going to um, put these mats on. So what I'm going to do, I mean, it's a mirror image, image of each other, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm just going to work with the top panel. So stick that one on there. I love this pattern paper because it doesn't it's the leaves are going in all directions so it's uh, it doesn't really matter if I um, just used up some scraps so there we go there's the match done there so I'm just going to fold on my score lines and here it is <laughs> oh it looks like my garden has decided to turn up today as well Okay, so I'm just finishing all the score lines. Like so. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out these score lines that I've created. So I just go either side of the score lines. SpongeBob, okay, so <laughs> we'll have to crack on with this box, right? So, we want to bring up the back bit, which has got nothing, and bring that heat, bring that inside the two flaps. The flaps go up, and then the front one goes up and over, and then you are covering and making a solid box inside, okay? So these come, fold them in. I'm going to add glue to each side. So some glue here. And that goes up there. Glue on the inside. And that goes up there. Like that. Glue strings, this glue gun is so stringy. And then I'm just going to add some glue to 
these side panels and that comes up here and again here a little bit of glue and that folds over like so okay so we're not done with that yet because I've also added a little tiny rope pull which really does help because I didn't want to put a thumb notch in it because I wanted to keep it flush so all I've done is just tied a piece of twine in a little knot and made a little loop and then I'm just going to get my um, crocodile or you can use a hole punch pop a little hole there I'm sure I've got to use the wrong side because that was tiny yet yeah. Pop a bigger hole in, like so, and then I just thread the ends through, like that, and then I pull it down. I want to pull pull the string down so that my loop sort of sticks out more. And what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of hot glue in there. I'm not touching the hot glue, otherwise I would be screaming. I'm just holding the, the twine down and then I'm just going to take a tiny piece from my scrap of the craft card and just hold that over the string and the hot glue. And that will keep it in place there. So when you're pulling in and out and then, oh, covered in glue strings. It'd be okay if this was a Halloween project. We use them as cobwebs. So that is the draw moment of truth that will fit <laughs> inside this box. Like that. So there we have the makings of our bar with the draw that pulls out. Okay, so now we're going to move on and we're going to do the roof. So the roof of the um, Tiki Bar um, measures five and three fourths by three and three fourths. And then we just want to score that at two. So I've already scored this, so let me just score it on the line that I've already done. So yeah, so on the three and three fourths, score it at two and that's it. So we just want to, we want to bend this, but we don't want to burnish it because we want to have it sort of sticking out. So that's going to be the part that goes on the actual roof. And this is sort of the, the hut part there. So it's sort of at an angle. I'll leave that to one side. And then we're done with scoring. Oops. Right, you're also going to need a actual roof panel and I use this because I need some sort of reinforcement because adding the bamboo it does create a little bit of weight so I just wanted to add a reinforcement part so this this roof piece uh, measures five and three fourths by three inches and that's it you don't need to do anything with that except I did add a um, a piece here yeah, just you know I just wanted it not to just look plain so I just added a piece of card and this measures five and five eighths by two and seven eighths all right so okay now the base here is actually chipboard and that measures six by six and I've already gone ahead and um, matted this on. This is actually the um, other piece to that. So it was a six by 12 piece that was in my pad. So I've just added that to it. I'm sure you won't see the giant feet <laughs> um, once the tiki bar is on. Okay, so now to assemble. And to do that, you're going to need um four straws so i'm just using these uh, paper straws and um, just found them pound shop we can get them anywhere they're just simple party straws and you're not going to see the design 
if you are using the bamboo. I mean, you could make this without the bamboo. Um, you know, you could carry on matting and stuff. It would still, you know, take shape. Um, but if you want to do these straws, you need to cut them at seven and a quarter. So they need to be seven and a quarter in length. And you will need four of them. So I've just, what I've done is I've used this bamboo and I've already cut out um, my roof, which I've actually made a little bit longer this time. And I've also um, cut out my front of my bar. And then I have cut out some of the, sh the straws, but I've left this one ready to do. So there's one already wrapped up in there, as you can see. Now, if I was to straight cut this bamboo, everything is going to fall apart because of where it's been stitched. So I thought I would just show you what I've been doing um, and that will probably help. So once I rolled the straw before cutting, I just go along the next part and just put um, a layer of hot glue and I'm just using the nozzle to spread that out like that and it really doesn't take that long to dry because it's hot glue. I'm so, always so tempted just to rub my finger across but that's just a silly silly idea to do because it's hot glue and that would really hurt. So just give it a couple of seconds and then I'll rub my finger across because it's dry <laughs> and I know I'm going to hurt myself. So you might end up with blobs like that, but it's okay. They can be picked off. And then oh, I want to go a bit, a bit close to this side, actually. And don't forget, you can cut through hot glue, so don't be worried about it not like ruining it or whatever okay if you have a silicone finger thing i always keep saying to myself just you must buy a silicone thing because then it's not going to hurt but do i ever no have i ever put one in my amazon basket no <laughs> okay so your straw and it actually turns out being like a tear shape i'll see in this one better maybe rather than a circle okay so now our next one is so we're ready to do the next one so what i do is i where i've just laid that hot glue i just go along and put another bit of the glue i add my straw like so and then I fold it over and I just check and then what I do is I fold it I'm totally in my own way and then before I do the last turn which is like that I add my hot glue to that edge where the bamboo and the straw meet like that and then I fold over till the bamboo touches. And then as that's drying, I just add my last layer. Yes, darling, we'll do SpongeBob in a minute. Shh, mommy's doing a recording. <laughs> Good boy. Yes, Theo is absolutely loving SpongeBob at the minute. Okay, so that's cool enough to cut. And I'm literally just cutting those strings away. And that is all I have left of my bamboo. So what I've, what's happened actually is I'm not gonna have enough to do this part of the roof. But like I said, it's, you know, that's just purely because I've run out of bamboo. Otherwise I would have done. Um, so I'm just going to quickly give you the measurements now. So what I do when I'm measuring um, the bamboo is I get my pen and ruler. 
and I just simply make my marks like this and then this way along the edge you know and then I just just connect them and then I know where to put my hot glue so like on here this is the um oh drop my book with all my measurements in so let's pick that up so this one is um h four and three fourths by three and that is the one that goes on the front of the bar like that it's going to go on the front there so i just measured it out put hot glue on each end and then i was able to cut it and that will stick on there and again with this one because i knew i wasn't going to be able to have enough i just wanted to make that one a little bit longer so the measurements i've got for that one was six and um two and seven eighths so that's six and two and seven eighths and that's going to go on the top of the bar so that'll be the hot and then uh, there isn't really a measurement for these like i said i'm just hot gluing them down and then rolling and gluing but if you wanted to add this part um you would need to cut that at six and um, six by two and one eighth right so let's assemble okay so i'm going to just start with this one first which is the bar and all I'm going to do is make sure that I'm using the back where the hot glue already is. Are you giving me some kisses now? Thank you for you. So I'm going to put a sponge rub on it quicker. Like that. And there we have one bar created. And then here we're going to add the no. to the roof so on this one because this is longer and hanging over i'm actually going to put the glue on to the craft card first so just a couple of lines and then line that up slightly i just want a little hang i don't want too much Okay. so because these bits are actually falling off a little bit i'm just gonna trim them up so i'm just gonna pop that hot glue on there budget over it's still a bit hot still a bit hot no, it's okay. There we go. So that's attaching to the small part of it. So there we are, we've created our roof. So when you scored it at the two inches, you'll have a large part and a small part. So it's a little bit different to the other one. Like I said, I've kind of made that one more flush, but this one is just giving it a little bit more of that hot vibe. Okay, so now we're going to add our straws. Now our straws, I'll use the back. I'm going to, because it's a tear shape, we're going to add the flat part. Sorry, I'm a turtle friend. The flat part to the back like this and you want to do it so that the the tear shape it point is pointing inwards so this would be pointing in and then this would be pointing out so you it's um harder to tell so it's kind of got the rounded part going around and then into so you want to make sure that you're always like got your angles so because this one's quite glue, I'm going to make sure that one goes at the back and that will need to go there. Now, 
I'm not actually going to stick mine down onto my uh, six by six because I'm going to send this and do this as a um, a hidden giveaway. So if you would like to win this tiki bar that I'm making, and it, I mean it'll be there for you to decorate and do what you like with. I'm going to send it in the mail, so it's going to be like you, you can attach it to this part yourselves but if you'd like to win this tiki bar just leave a comment in the section where your favorite holiday destination is so if you do that then i'll put you in a little draw and i will announce that um next week so carry on so i'm not going to stick it down to the six by six but at this point i would say stick it down to your six by six so that you've got some sort of stability and you're getting everything flush so i'm not going to do that today so i'm going to use my mat which i need a new one so taking my straws and i want to that one is quite ghastly this is what happens when you use too much hot glue it's it seeps through the actual thing so i'm just going to add some glue to there and then push it try and make sure that you don't get it on your drawer make sure that that can still slide out because sometimes the little bit of hot glue can just ooze out slightly and then it's done for and i'm just gonna move that out of the way and a bit more glue here. Like so. Right, and now to the front. So I'm just going to line it up and use my finger so I know where I need to apply my hot glue. So just there, trying to make sure it's flush to the ground and because then that will give it stability at the top. what I'm going to do is because I haven't done a mat or anything for that I'm actually going to stick this one on first and then I'm going to stick my reinforcement on top alternatively you can put your reinforcement on first and then stick that on top actually I am going to do that I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> ignore me for a minute okay so we're going to stick this one on the top first and to do that I'm just going to add a blob of hot glue onto each one of these and then add that to the top. There we go. Like so. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I will put a mat on that. I'm just not going to do that right now. And then that is going to stick onto that reinforcement there. So let's add some glue. Make sure we're at the we're sticking it to the front. Like so. And there we have our little hot. Okay. So this might be a little bit floppy. What I do is um, add a little bit of hot glue, but I'm just going to take a little bit of scrap craft card like this and just cut two strips. Oh, I'm not too thin. Just two little strips like this and bend them in half and they're going to act like tiny, tiny little hinges. Hey, 
add a little bit of glow and then stick that to your straw part. Do one on the other side. Like that. And then add the glue to the hook. And then that will hold it so it does stick out a little bit. And, <laughs> and I really need a new glue gun. I'm so glad my brother gave me a voucher because this is just ridiculous. The amount of glue strings is unreal. So that's it. That is how you make a tiki bar. Like I said, I will put a mat on this bit. Um, it was only because I didn't have enough bamboo and I couldn't, that wouldn't have fit, you know, and that was literally the last bit I had. And again, that wouldn't even cover it. So I will mat that. And if you, like I say, if you do want to win this tiki bar, and obviously it's got its little beach to sit on, um, just comment in the uh, description box your favourite holiday destination. Well, thank you for sticking with me, even through um, my kids <laughs> um, demanding SpongeBob from me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you make one, uh, let me know. Um, so, yeah, so thank you so much, and I'll see you all again. Bye.